This is a story gaining a lot of nationwide attention out of Orange County. Dozens of snakes, many of them venomous, removed from the home of a man bitten by his pet King Cobra this week. Out of those snakes removed, 18 of them are venomous. As CBS North Carolina's David Hurst found out, it hasn't been easy finding a temporary home for them. In the past, confiscated snakes would have been held here at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. However, that's changed due to some safety concerns. Home to 17 different kinds of snakes, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences is one of the largest exhibits in the state. But recently, due to the lack of anti-venom on site and some safety concerns, confiscated snakes have gone elsewhere. We're here in a downtown urban area, one of the most popular uh, attractions in the state. Um, so simply, this is probably not the best facility to be warehousing those animals. Authorities are still looking for a home for some of the venomous snakes confiscated, including a king cobra, the snake that bit 21-year-old Ali Ayoub. Copperheads are the only common venomous snake in the Triangle area. Ayub, who CBS North Carolina interviewed last year, got most of his snakes through his work with the group Reptile Rescue of Carolinas. It's not known where he got the king cobra, but experts say there's a market for them. As things have gone global over the past few decades, uh, the availability of animals from all over the globe um, kind of followed suit. The museum has an agreement with a facility in South Carolina that's temporarily holding on to those venomous snakes. Reporting in Raleigh, David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina.